greyish blue morning hue shining through your skylight. Instead, skin drinks in stifling empty air. Sen senses stretch out, discovering your side lies bare. It's 5 a.m., I know, because you're not there. Thick summer air means we're not faring so well. July in an attic is proving problematic for my tether. It's not really the weather, though, is it? Part of the problem is I like you a lot. My past has made me not so good with that thing we call feelings. I don't know what to do. It's 5.02 and you're downstairs. Lately you get nightmares at this time of night. It's not like we fight yet. <laughs> but tensions are brewing. We both have demons stewing. You can't help yours, I know. Logic tells me it's just a bump in the road. We're only three months in. Your skin feels so familiar. Yet the absence of you in your own bed does not. It's 5.03 and it's fucking hot. <laughs> I'm scared, crack. Are emerging, storm stirring in a teacup, swirling at our China edges, content pledges to overflow, or worse, expose the tornado that is my troubled side. It's 5.05 a.m. The patter of bare feet creep on the landing. Through semi-closed eyes, I spy your semi-clothed body slinking through saloon-style wooden doors. Damn. I always forget how I'm floored by the sight of your green eyes. Even now, all puffy and swollen, they've stolen a part of me. Your back collapses heavy against my torso. Weight of your body and worries sink into my sinews. You're an overthinker, I'm an overfeeler, hoping my tender touch will act as concealer. You say it's just hay fever keeping you up. I'm worried it's something more grown up, sinister. Our finisher, perhaps. Do you not like me anymore? I quietly ponder. It's 5.07. The world around us sleeps. Not a peep, nor whisper of human life, just the threat of strife between us. Is this the lull before the storm? Shallow breaths heave in rhythm against my chest as we choose to say nothing. Not with words, anyway. Instead, I tenderly ice your weary eyes. You disguise all fears with a simple slide of fingers between knuckles. My anxiety buckles as you tilt your head against my lips. In one silent motion, you eclipse all fears. It's 5.15 a.m. Seagulls begin to gossip. The telly hums somewhere nearby. You intensify the pressure of pushed fingertips against my hips. Only three months in, but I've come to understand this is your way of saying... Sorry, I kiss your forehead, my way of saying don't worry. And just like that, petty troubles evaporate faster than the ice cubes which soothe your bleary, tired eyes. It's 5.25, and we arrive where we started, in your bed, in this attic, less diplomatic, more erratic. We're three months in. You drop your chin and nestle closer. It's 5.28. I wait to watch you drift to sleep, clothed in vulnerability, naked in fresh fragility, eyes wide shut. It's somewhere after 5 a.m.